Can you retire early, even right now, with a tiny house? Now, I know a lot about these subjects because I have four tiny houses. And I've had an early retirement lifestyle for over 20 years. Now, some of you are thinking, how can you think about early retirement right now at a time like this? I'm Douglas Lucky Larson on the Retire Early and Often channel. And as you know, some things in the world look like they're falling apart, like political and ideological battles, social injustices, record inflation numbers, crashing stocks and cryptos, and maybe even real estate. We've got food and energy instability and even riots around the world. There's a war in Eastern Europe. We've got higher than ever illegal immigration in the U.S., drug trafficking, human smuggling. Some people are screaming it's an invasion. Also, as you know, uh, some well-known companies in high tech and real estate and mortgage and manufacturing, they're already doing some job layoffs. And don't forget, Elon Musk and Twitter are in a battle for the very existence of social media itself. And people ask me, how can you possibly think about early retirement with all of this? If you've listened to me before now, you know that uh, on this channel, we're not talking about retire as in lie down, but instead integrating into your everyday life the aspects of your ideal retirement right now. And what do most people want in retirement? Well, they want housing stability, financial security, some free time for hobbies and interests, and maybe some travel. And above all, they want great relationships with family and friends. Not to mention, many people envision more charitable giving and volunteering to really leave a meaningful legacy. The whole point of this channel is that you must integrate some of these things now, or you simply will not have them later when you're old and sick. And if you spent all your time just chasing money but ignoring your hobbies, your interests, your purpose, your relationships. Trust me, you'll be miserable. <laughs> so let's talk about one way that could work to get you an early retirement lifestyle right now with a tiny house. Now, uh, I hope you're going to watch this to the end because people are doing this from age 22 to 82. And you will learn some things that you can implement right now to simplify your life, bring greater happiness, and protect yourself against high prices, job layoffs, rising rent and mortgages, and to help you break free from the daily grind that just sucks the life right out of some people. So today, we're going to discuss one way to retire, or at least give you incredible options and freedom literally right now by reducing your monthly living expenses to way less than half of what you're spending now using a tiny home. And as I mentioned, I have four tiny houses. Three of them are mobile because they are built on trailers with heavy duty axles and wheels. Two of those I built out of garden sheds like this one right down here, this red one. And I spent less than $4,000. One of the tiny homes is attached to the ground. It measures 8 feet wide by 34 feet long and lives like a regular home, only smaller. It was in rough shape when I bought it, but it's very cute and livable now. And it's only a few miles from the beach in San Diego County. Now, I know the most common early retirement formula, like the FIRE movement, F-I-R-E, Financial Independence, Retire Early, it, it's to work for several years like a crazed jackrabbit on Red Bull and invest every penny so you can eventually jump off the treadmill and buy some toys, do some travel, and start a hobby. Another common theme lately is to trade crypto or meme stocks and become insta-rich. Well, that's a possibility, sure, but not likely. How many people do you actually know, not like YouTube know, but actually know that have done this? And if they told you that they were rich last year, well, how's that working out now? <laughs> With Bitcoin at about a third of its value from last year's peak and some cryptocurrencies going to pennies or even less. Can you say Terra Luna or Celsius or Three Arrows Capital? Yikes. It's risky and it requires a level of time, knowledge, investing capital, or sheer chance that most people don't have. 
There are some great strategies out there to invest or start a side hustle or work extra hours and save and invest your money. But today's discussion is about the other side of the coin. And we'll discuss all those other things in other videos I've done before and will do after. But today is the other side of the coin, which is to simply cut your expenses by trying a different, more simple and free lifestyle that can allow you to literally jump out of the rat race, even right now. As I mentioned before on this channel, we also talk about integrating the most important, truly soul-satisfying aspects of retirement immediately when you're still young and healthy enough to enjoy them. Look at this next slide. I love this meme with a couple old geezers enjoying retirement. <laughs> they're in Venice, Italy, except they're asleep in the gondola and not really enjoying much of the scenery at all. <laughs> Not only is an imminent retirement lifestyle a lot more fun, it's the only way to have a truly good life. As I mentioned, the word retirement often makes people think about the actual verb retire, as in to lie down and rest. No, instead we're talking about financial independence and scheduled freedom. You can work in retirement if it's not drudgery and doesn't keep you from doing other important things you love even things you feel called to do. Also, to be clear, just having fun is not the key to happiness. Instead, the meaningful activities that most people imagine for their golden years must be implemented in your life right now if you want the fulfillment that most of us desire in you know, our life right now and for the future. Now, what are you going to want in your golden years? Pretty much what you want right now. Enough money for the basics and the freedom to do what you want when you want to. However, if you're too old, sick, tired, lonely in your golden years, what's the point of a big nest egg anyway? Now, I have accidentally, sort of, been retired for most of my adult life. I'm a Gen Xer in my early 50s, and I've only worked an 8 to 5 day job for about 10 years of my life. Even when I was a 40-plus hour-per-week employee, I chose to live in San Diego and Hawaii, enjoying weather and activities on a daily basis that most retirees might dream of. I wish I could say that I planned everything this way, right from the start. But actually, I'm just kind of a surf bum, and I just paddled with the ocean currents most of the time. They say it's often better to be lucky than smart, I think that describes me pretty well. My high school teachers and some college professors would likely agree. The trick is that with some intention and planning, most people can actually create their own luck. You can retire early and often, starting now. On this channel, I show you how others have done it without winning lotto or inheriting millions from great Aunt Betsy. You can actually do this. How bad do you want it? The following examples do not require that you have everything perfectly figured out. Ordinary people who are not yet millionaires are doing this right now. And so can you. They have chosen to retire early and often. And the future looks bright. <laughs> if we can just all avoid a zombie apocalypse. Now, I like to follow several people who have downsized to a tiny house and become lifestyle vloggers to bring others on their journey. They have successful channels on YouTube and their channel revenue and sponsorships and endorsements have made them enough money to do very well because they have a smaller monthly budget. Some have gotten absolutely rich. No, you don't have to be a lifestyle vlogger to enjoy this lifestyle. A tiny home on your own homestead or even a rented piece of property can simply cut your expenses as much as 70% uh, and, and give you a huge amount of freedom for other meaningful things than just work and paying bills, paycheck to paycheck. I have two family members that are not vloggers, but they certainly have a work-from-anywhere lifestyle so long as they have an inter internet connection that's uh, got at least decent speeds. One is a programmer and the other is a systems analyst. I also know a couple other people that are just in customer service. They work from home making 20 bucks an hour, but with reduced expenses of like a tiny home, they could have a pretty great and free lifestyle. 
I started following the channels of several tiny home dwellers, like these just to the side of me here, about seven years ago when I wanted to build my own off-grid mini cabin on a couple acres that I bought on a stream about 90 minutes from my home. Let's take a look at the next slide. I just wanted to make a weekend getaway cabin on a small budget, and I did. And I actually wrote a book about it. You can see this down here. These photos are a couple of photos of the land and the stream and the inside of the little cabin. You can see it's got a little sleeping loft up here. And again, you can find my book, Home Sweet Tiny House, on Amazon.com. Now, the full-time lifestyle of a tiny house dweller is also fascinating, though. I learned so much from several YouTubers, and they have huge followings of people like me who want to hear about their frustrations and their successes. Some talk all about the process and the best practices of tiny house construction, living off-grid and finding the next location to park their little tiny house. Others talk more about gardening and homesteading on a tiny house farm to become fully self-reliant. Probably a good idea right about now. Now, right now, on uh, this particular video, I'm going to give you just some of the basics, especially with the economics of a tiny home. But for the other details, yeah, you can watch some of my other videos but also some of these other channels. And they've got all the information that you need. And please feel free to check out my book on Amazon.com. Uh, again, right at this moment, um, I have four tiny homes and a, a customized sprinter van that I'll give more details about on a different video. But all of these can be used to begin a simple retire early lifestyle. This particular tiny home right here is my most traditional looking tiny home. It's currently rented out at about uh, $600 per month to a guy who uses it for Airbnb. He makes about $1,500 to $2,000 per month with short term rentals and he's happy to pay me $600 per month and he takes care of all the maintenance with the little house. This kind of tiny home is pretty much what you see on the HGTV shows and most vlogger channels here on YouTube. It's got everything that you need from a, you know, a normal sized bathroom to an adequate uh, little kitchen and a sleeping loft um, up over the bathroom area. It's even got a heating and air conditioning system. This kind of tiny home costs about $40,000 plus. Um, it could be a little less depending on actual size and the features. Now, you can actually save about half that amount if you build it yourself, but it can easily take six months to a year, nights and weekends, if, um, even if you've got real construction skills. <laughs> if you don't, well, you got to watch more YouTube videos to figure it out. It might even take longer. But um, uh, these are the kind of tiny homes that you normally see that uh, people build on a trailer and uh, can transport them where they want. Uh, this house is not fully self-contained because it requires either a generator or a, a 220 volt power hookup and uh, water and sewer hookups as well. That's if you want to live comfortably and not have to drive it back and forth to fill and dump stations for water and dumping your gray and, and black water once or twice a week, just like you would with a camping trailer. I bought this unit for just under 25000 which was a great value. And then I added some storage and enlarged the couch bed so it can comfortably sleep four people. If you can do without much heating or air conditioning, you could easily save a couple thousand dollars that you could then spend toward a solar system that could give you basic lighting and a small microwave and a DC 12 volt powered fridge. I have those things in my sprinter van so that I can be totally off grid when I go exploring in the van. Heating in the winter can be done very efficiently with a small wood stove. Now, I have found that uh, in my sprinter van, an electric blanket plugged into my battery bank is very efficient for nighttime sleeping for me and my family of uh, five total people. Uh, when most people think of a tiny house, they think of eh, maybe moving around occasionally, like maybe with the change of seasons, but not constantly. Uh, a tiny house like this is great if you can find the right place to park for several months at a time 
Now, trailer parks and campgrounds, they can be $35 or $45 per night or more, which isn't bad, but it's not really going to help you save that much money. Now, I spend most of my time um, where I live in a suburb of Salt Lake City uh, in Utah, and one city very nearby me is really good about allowing accessory dwellings and uh, tiny homes, but another community just to the south has very strict rules against it. A lot of nimbies there, not in my backyard. If you join Facebook groups or other forums about tiny homes, you can find that most people can rent a space for their little tiny house for between $200 and $500 per month, depending on what part of the country you're in. That usually includes power and water hookups and often allows you to tie into an RV dump for your gray and black water. Many cities around the country are very aware of the shortage of housing units and they're becoming more open to tiny homes. At the end of this video, I'll also try to give you a couple links for tiny home manufacturers that uh, can build you a pretty nice little unit, kind of like this, for about $35,000 to $45,000. Whether you build one or buy one, you could easily have your basic housing and utility expenses covered for under $1,000 per month total. Possibly much less than that. Now, how does that compare to what you spend right now? For most households, that's like 60 to 70% less than you spend right now on housing and utilities. There are some great tiny home Airbnb properties all around the country where you can try out this lifestyle for a few days or even a few months just to see if it's right for you. And if you really want to cut down on your expenses and live the simple life, remember that on the previous slide, that off-grid mini cabin, I built for under $4,000. I actually built three of them with the help of a handyman, and the land where they sit is a um, beautiful piece of property with great views and a stream, and it uh, was only $15,000 for the property. If you really like the outdoors and want to live on the cheap and don't mind the off-grid camping nature, well, I tell you what, it is possible to live cheap. Now, let me tell you about a tiny house that I own, and it's about three and a half miles from the beach in San Diego, North County. It's a detached studio unit, ADU, accessory dwelling unit, behind a small rental house that I have leased out at about um, uh, just under $2,400 per month. That lease for the main house would easily cover the mortgage on the entire property if I had a mortgage, but my LLC owns the property free and clear. This cute little 8 foot wide by 34 foot long tiny house has a decent sized kitchen and a full bathroom and a washer and dryer and some exterior storage and it feels private from my neighbors. And it's a perfect getaway for me and my family when we want to get away and visit the beach. It could easily be a full time residence for a single person or a couple with very simple needs. You see how this could work? You could own the entire property live in the little unit, rent out the main house, and virtually live almost free. <laughs> tiny house living is really about simplification. Just what you need and nothing more. Personally, I love spending a few days or even a couple weeks in a tiny space, so long as the weather is great and we can enjoy outdoor activities. When I lived in Hawaii and owned several properties on Maui, I never had huge square footage all to myself. To afford my larger homes on Maui, I rented out ohana units or even bedrooms within the house. When I had a small condo townhome with only 750 square feet, it never felt small because I really only ate and slept indoors. <laughs> I had the whole island as my backyard. Living tiny full time, especially now that I've got three kids, it would be very difficult, but also doable if needed. Humans have lived in small spaces for thousands of years. Think huts or teepees or caves or even Abraham Lincoln's one-room log cabin when he was growing up. If you are willing to give up your extra crap and live tiny, you literally can cut your expenses by two-thirds or more and retire now. <laughs> okay, I know what you're asking. Can you get financing for these tiny homes? Well, you absolutely can. Like 
uh, with my ADU tiny home in North County, San Diego. And the rent from the main house can cover your mortgage. With the other tiny home examples, well, if you can't buy it on a credit card or get a line of credit like a personal loan at a bank, there are some manufacturers of tiny homes that will finance it like a car loan. If you've got decent credit, you could try out some of those options. Trust me, if this is a priority for you, you can find a way. On the next slide, let's summarize this incredible strategy for retiring early and often even possibly right now. Now, of course there are pros and cons or trade-offs to any big life change, but let's go over the pros. So number one, you will cut expenses. Number two, you will live essentially. Cut all the crap out of your life and just live essentially you've never read the book Essentialism by Greg McEwen, you're missing out. That is a great book. It helps, to, um, it helps you to get back to the most important things in life. Number three, adventure. Wouldn't you like a little more adventure in your life? <laughs> Tiny house living can definitely give you both the time and the option to have more adventure. Number four, retire now. Uh, doesn't that sound pretty good compared to whatever you're doing? Finally, uh, let's go to the next slide. Please give me a thumbs up. And I can't give you advice, but if this infotainment has been helpful in any way, can you please like and subscribe and share? We'd love to see you on the next video, including one of these right down here. And also look in the show notes for some links to tiny home builders and other resources. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what else you'd like to know about finance, about creative real estate, or early retirement lifestyle. All right. See you soon.